how to use doodle scheduling tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get started with doodle and how to get started with your scheduling journey with doodle so let's get into it now doodle.com is a simple and easy to use scheduling software which enables you to schedule all of your meetings and uh, use their product to basically efficiently manage your calendar using doodle and what they basically do is that they have named themselves doodle because if you can see on their top right on their website you have create a doodle so you can click on this over here and you can start managing different groups you can manage a section of your time with their platform and basically this enables you to instead of having to you know manage like a super super difficult to organize calendar or any scheduling software like that it enables you to basically set your own appointment scheduling or scheduling uh, in a very simple and easy to use manner now to get started with doodle you're just going to click Click on sign up on the top right over here on their website or you can even just click on their website so if we go on to their website over here you can start their free trial so you can see uh, on the left over here you can click on start free trial and then we're just going to get started with doodle so you can just choose any of the free trials that you want but i'm just going to click on sign up first and now you can sign up with your google apple facebook or microsoft id or you can just enter your email address to get started now i'm just going to sign up with google just to make it simpler and easier for the sign up process and now i'm just going to enter a full name and then i'm going to i'm going to accept the terms of service and and now after that you're just going to continue on start free trial with whatever trial version you want and then we're just going to get started with our doodle account now you can choose to connect your calendar whatever account you use to uh, create your doodle account you can choose to uh, skip this or connect your calendar i'm going to skip this for now i don't want to integrate my calendar onto this account currently but you can integrate your account now after that what you're going to do is you're just going to start by creating your doodle so basically uh first off you can click on create a new booking page on your right side over here client like if you're someone that hosts clients and you are uh, providing a service then you can uh, create your booking page first and then you can start adding your contact specifically if you are working with specific people if you're just a business person and then you're working in your office and you have certain contacts that you are in frequent communication with you can add those as well and then after that you have two other options where you can create one-on-one -on -one meetings or group polls as well so first off i'm going to click on create a new booking page and i'm going to create my booking page i'm going to connect my calendar and for maybe let's say i'm going to create the booking page a therapy so maybe if i'm a therapist and i provide my services as a therapist so i'm just going to make that as a sample uh you are going to add your own details obviously now you can see this is the uh questionnaire that you're going to get not a questionnaire this is what you're going to fill out when you're going to create your booking page so first off you're going to give your page a name so this is going to jane's therapy clinic and then after that you're going to add your description so i'm just going to add like a simple little description so you can just add whatever description whatever your booking page is about then you can also add your location and if you want to enable video conferencing and what kind of tool you will be using for video conferencing you're going to add that over here as well so you're just going to add your location whatever location if there is a physical location that you meet up your clients or your business meetings occur at your office whatever it might be you're going to enter that information over here as well and then you have your event duration and availability so after that what you're going to do uh how long the event will be so if it's going to be 15 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes uh, 120 minutes or custom so you can add a custom duration let's say for me uh, i'd like to schedule my 15 minute uh, duration so for the standard meeting and then after that you're going to add your future booking horizon this depends on how far along in the future you want to be booked for and i don't like to add no limit i usually like to add uh, two months into the future because i don't like to take any appointments before two months because you're uncertain of your own personal schedule by then so you can just add that or you can add a date range as well i'm just going to add two months into the future and then you have your daily and hourly availability so you can see these are the hourly availabilities now you can just change these for each individual days to match your schedule or you can click on add hours on the top right over here and you can add every day and then you can just add custom hours for every day like uh, maybe thursdays to sundays i take the three days off and then my timing's 3 p.m to 9 p.m and then these are 
going to be Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and I'm going to click on save over here. And then after that, you have your connected calendars. You can manage your availability. You can add reminders for participants as well. So you can click on enable booking reminders. So your participants get reminders that they have booked an event with you or a meeting with you. And then below that, you also have custom invite fields that you can add as well. You can add a specific custom are going to be two required fields. And then you can also add a session number. So if I'm providing therapy, maybe I want to know their session number. If you want any kind of prior knowledge about your client, your customer, or the person that you are going to be meeting with, you can add any of these questions that they will be required to answer before they book a meeting with you. So this will enable you to gather information about your meeting or whatever you're going to be talking about in the meeting uh, before the meeting actually begins and you won't be ill prepared. So you're just going to click on create booking page over here at the bottom right now. And now my sharing link is enabled. So now I can click on share page and I can just copy this link and I will open this up and show you guys what the link currently looks like. So uh, this is my therapy clinics link and I'm just opening this up. Uh, this is going to be serving as my basic page for booking. Now after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto my doodle dashboard and this is just a simple booking page. So uh, this is what my basic booking page is going to be looking like and I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. I will open this up in a new window just to show you guys what it's looking like. So you can see over here, uh, this is what my appointment scheduling software is looking like. So people can book me and then they have the timings as well. Then they have to just enter their name and email. And then they will also receive uh, a reminder for their booking as well. Uh, after you have created your basic booking page, what you're going to do is you can also create specific kind of meetings. So let's say if I provide therapy, maybe I provide normal therapy sessions of 50 minutes, but maybe I also want to provide like a, a 30 minute um, get to know session. So for that, I'm just gonna click on create one on one one on one meeting and you can add the title which would be history taking so whatever and then you can add all of the information about that and then you're just going to click on create invite and continue so we're just going to click on calendar shown and we are just going to add this over here and then you're going to click on create invite and continue and then you can invite your guests on to this specific one-on-one -on -one kind of meeting so they can meet you one-on-one -on -one in these specific timings and then you can do the same with a invitation of a group as well this is just a sample that i showed you guys you're going to obviously click on create poll if you want to create a group meeting and then you're just going to add the occasion and then add uh, you can also set deadlines limit how many participants can join at a singular time and uh, also hide the participant list and automatically trial reminders to the people coming to your event. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with Doodle as your basics appointment scheduling or scheduling software. If we were to take a look at the pricing of Doodle, it, it starts at uh, $6.95 per month per user and it is paid annually. Uh, you have no ads, unlimited group polls, unlimited booking pages. Uh, you have unlimited one-on-ones, custom branding, and you can integrate Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and WebEx as well. And then you also have the team version starting at $8.95, almost $9.00 get more fields like admin console roles and permission schedule on behalf and activity reports and then you also have the enterprise version for which you will have to contact doodle for personally i'm, I'm just going to say this in my personal opinion i prefer using calendly over doodle because it is available for free and it provides the similar kind of features but if you want to create unlimited booking pages well, that you will only get on doodle so i would recommend that if you are looking for some a bit more premium then you should sign up for doodle so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions regarding doodle or any other platform leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video